I, I got tired of dealing with insurance companies. Um, I Tell mean, I me about it. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cruising with Zach. Today we have co-owner of Water Dog and Ventner, the new hit sensation, Dan Greenberg, Dr. Dan Greenberg. Welcome on the exactly. show. Thanks for having me. Thanks. So, Appreciate it. first off, the name Water Dog, where does it come from? So, my partner, uh, business partner Steve Marshall, he had a Portuguese water dog named Betty. So, when we were forming the company, you know, we were having a few beers, just trying to think of a name, and I believe it was Steve that, that he said, you know, what about Water Dog? And it, like a light went off, and we said, "That's it. That that's awesome. That's a great name." So uh, uh, Betty, his dog, had passed. Um, so we, that's how the name came up. So uh, we got an artist to uh, to make a logo uh, for our, our water dog business, and we used Betty, a uh, picture of Betty, uh, Steve's dog. Did they ever call it so, Black Betty? No. Should have. All right. Well, all right. So, Water Dog. So, you have, you know, the traditional story: chiropractor turned restaurant entrepreneur. Yeah, I I got tired of dealing with insurance companies. Um, I Tell mean, me I love, about I, it. Yeah, Tell love working on patients. It. It's great, but like trying to get paid is just a nightmare. Yeah. And so, cooking was like a hobby that I kind of turned into a little bit of a business down at the farmers market at Stephen Cookies, yeah. selling the friends and. Um, Steve was a friend of mine that was also into smoking, uh, you know, fish and uh, meats and things like that. Smoking meats. Meats, yes. yes. So um, we started, uh, we, we got together and Steve, uh, he owns a couple of businesses here. He's a really sharp business guy. Okay. <clears throat> I, never had, I learned how to make the food and he said, do you want to turn it into a real business? Uh, so that's how we formed Water Dog. Yeah, and you know, it's funny. I was on the beach patrol with your wife, Sandy. Okay. Here's a sweetheart. And... You know, I was a whatever teenager, young 20 something year old. Maybe you go out the night before and she would come in the morning. Oh, here, I have some smoked ribs or Dan smoked a brisket last night. And it was like seagulls. <laughs> yeah, it was gone in a second. Right, right, um, right. So that's where I was first introduced to your work. Oh, cool. Um, but everyone wants a piece of you. Um, it's a new hit in Ventnor. It's on the Ventnor Margate border. Um, but, you know, there's a lot that you provide. You know, give us a kind of an idea of what so, product so, you guys So, what we, our main thing, uh, we, we have meats, we smoke our own meats, and we cure and smoke our own fish. So, growing up in this area, you know, smoked salmon, like, there's a lot of people that eat smoked salmon in the area, but it, it really hasn't been that good. So, what we do is we make our own, we make it fresh. The stuff in the store is like about three days old from the time we get it until cured, smoked, and in the store is about three days. Mm -hmm. So, it's the same thing with the meats. You know, we smoke meats every day. We also have roasted meats. And we do them every day, so they're as fresh as they can be. We drive them in every morning to the store, and um, you know we just try to give the uh, the freshest stuff, uh, freshest stuff possible. Um, we also have poke bowls, yes, which, are, which I've tried and oh, it's delicious. Yeah, you know, I, because let's be honest, there's a couple things on your menu that we'll call them cheat day meals. Mm -hmm. You know, not. Like a like our smoked meatloaf sandwich. Yeah, what's that? The smoked meatloaf sandwich. So it's a it's a take on a traditional meatloaf. Only instead of uh, mustard and ketchup, we put barbecue sauce in it, and then we smoke it. So it's and, and they're about a you know maybe a pound or something like that. We slice it into pieces, put it on a flat top, get it nice and charred with some cheese and onions. Okay. And put it on a brioche roll, and it's 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 probably it's our second most popular sandwich other than our uh, hot pastrami. Okay, what's on the hot pastrami? Uh, the hop pastrami comes on rye with either uh, remoulade or spicy mustard and coleslaw, and it's it's a killer sandwich. We we it's our most popular by far. Now you also cater as well, correct? Yeah, we sure do. Yep, we do catering. Um, we have uh, fish trays, we have sandwich trays, and we also do a thing called a barbecue feast. Oh boy! Which is uh, ribs, our pulled pork um, with cornbread. And uh, baked beans, you know, we do a really killer baked beans. You make the baked so, beans in house, of course. Yeah, everything in house. We make everything. We make everything ourselves. Yeah. And when we were walking out to the car, you said, "Man, it takes a long time to make the food." 
-hmm. Real quick, you know, I'm not gonna ask the entire process here what your secrets are, but how long to like make a brisket or smoke your ribs or the fish? So the briskets take between 12 and 14 hours. Uh, ribs are around five, maybe six. Uh, pulled porks, you know, anywhere from eight to 10 hours. So the, like the barbecue stuff takes a, takes a long time. Okay. Uh, the fish, you know, the whole process, like I said, from the time we get the fish until it's in our restaurant is, is about a three day process. A three day process. Yeah, curing it, smoking it, then we slice it and pack it and you know, get it to get it to the store. It's it's about three days, but it's you know it seems to be working really well. People really seem to love the the difference that we provide, which is you know stuff that was made just then as opposed to weeks ago. And you know that some of the other stores in the area um, they buy from you know the big places in Brooklyn, right? Right. And right. they they make stuff weeks weeks at a time that you know it can sit there frozen and, and yeah, they get to the God store and it just long. yeah, it's just not fresh. So now, do you make your own bread as well? Or like um, bagels? No, we actually source them from a bakery in Ocean City. Ah. Uh, we tried doing bagels, and making a, re a good bagel is really hard. Mm -hmm. So, and we would need a ton more equipment. And yeah. we found a place in Ocean City um, called uh, Dead End Bakery, and their stuff is fantastic. Very familiar. Yeah, yep. really, really good bagels. Uh, we went through probably twelve different providers and. You know, we thought that we thought theirs was the best, and it's local. Yeah, it is. It's so, not local. Yeah, you know, they shop. They deliver them every morning, just hot and fresh, and really, really good. <laughs> so everything's fresh. Every fresh ingredients. Everything's made in house. Yep. I mean, I think that's why it's such a big hit. Yep. We hand slice all our stuff in the in the store. So if you come in, you know, you want a half pound of turkey, we slice it right there. Uh, the roast beef, we do the same thing, um, and uh, you know, we just we try to give. We try to give everybody what, like, I would want. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if I went into a restaurant, this is what I'd really want. Well, that's kind of what we make uh, Water Dog. That's good stuff. So, anyway. Uh, so, real quick, what we're going to do before we let you out, mm -hmm. we're going to go into the lightning round. We're going to ask you a couple questions. You answer them as quickly as possible. Uh-oh. All right. <laughs> if you were in a food-eating contest and you could eat any food and win, what would you eat? Smoked salmon. <sighs> okay. And you'd have to provide that? I guess. I guess so. I don't know. That'd be I don't good. Like, I wouldn't eat anyone else's. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So if you could go back in time and tell yourself something when you were 16, what would you tell yourself? Uh, jeez. <laughs> I don't even know. Pass. Pass. Okay. All right, pass. You can tell yourself pass. Okay. And if you could have one superpower not flying, what would it be? X-ray vision. Okay. All right, so you can creep all people. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right, sounds good. All right, so Dr. Dan Greenberg, now the doctor in smoking meats and salmons. Go check him out at Water Dog. What's the address over there? 7319 Ventnor Avenue. Uh, the phone number is 609-727-0603. Uh, We're open 7 to 6 every day. And you can call him for the catering. I know he's done great work with that if you're having a party or any holiday. Water Dog for all your catering stuff. Um, Facebook, Instagram, you're on that stuff too? All that stuff. All that stuff, the hipstergram, all that. Yep. Hey, congratulations, Thanks, man. best really of luck, it. and uh, let's go back and get a sandwich. Sounds good. <laughs> See you guys.